This is Pirate Bounty 110. I have no idea who that is. Kadu, are you able to tell who it is? Deadliest. He said the replay. Oh, it's deadliest? Okay. Oh, C Red, I'm sorry. Yeah, we gotta get yours in. That's right. You got your sub reward. Yep, I'll do that next, okay, Deadly or uh, uh, C Red? Wait. Neptune on Sleeping Giant coming up next. You bought the Nelson only because it's free XP. I don't blame you there at all, man. I mean, yeah, free XP ships. As long as you've got the free XP, pick them up. You can stay awake a little longer. I know you're staying awake long. Thanks, C Red. It's the deadliest game, which means he'll probably die pretty quick anyway. One ten is deadliest. Okay. Is he in chat? Did he say something about being in chat? I think he left. All right, I'll ping him so he knows I'm covering one of his games too. Deadliest supplier of death picks. Yes. yes, yes. Are there any other free XP ships leaving? No, just the Nelson right now. Uh, the other ones that are leaving are for doubloons, cash. I don't know if there's any coal that are leaving. But I do have a Zath chat where I cover the ships that are leaving. Uh, give me a moment, I'll pull that up for you guys. Check out that YouTube video. Uh, don't worry about the time marker. Why do I have a time marker in there? Fix that. There. Uh, check out that video if you want to get my opinions. Keep in mind, they're only my opinions of the ships that uh, you th that uh, are going away. Which ones to pick up, which ones to skip, all that good stuff. We also did some, uh, some battles on Sunday, two days ago now, uh, highlighting those ships as well. Four o'clock. Hey Dutch, uh, is this going to be deadliest misbehaving on a pirate rampage? Probably. Probably. We shall see. But I have a good feeling that's going to happen. So, the TED-61, characteristics about the ship. The torpedo reload is pretty darn quick. She's got hydro at six, uh, is it, no, it's five? Four, four kilometer detection with hydro. Uh, her detect is down to 6.1 with concealment and all that. At tier six, that's a pretty good range for destroyers. Her guns are 128 millimeter guns, which now pen one quarter AG, which are, is quite nice. Um... So there's a lot of good things going for her. She's a she's kind of one of those ships where like she she just has the right mix of everything to make her a really fun ship to play. And because she's tier 6, she's pretty cheap to play. I don't know why you fired that torp off. If a ship is turning, I always like to wait until she finishes turning before I fire the torps.
But the Byron is turning right back in, so I mean, it could work. We'll see. We'll have to see. Using your guns to try to get the guy to take a take a look at you, and there's a torp in the face. And you could stop here and smoke. What's up, Edge? How's it going? You're choosing engine boost instead of smoke. Alright. Extreme premonition or calculated luck. We will never know, right? <laughs> And this Byron is gone. Ouch. And seeing an L3, you're deciding to hit the brakes and smoke. Not a bad choice, but honestly, he's about to go behind the island anyway. I, I think you would have been better just ducking behind the island. Because uh, now your smoke is pretty much useless. Stan with the Epic Rogue. Thank you, Stan. It's a four skull difficulty mission we're coming up on. So that's uh, that's going to be very helpful see where we're at we've got 12 minutes to go 12 minutes to go as he was turning out I wouldn't bother torping him I would look at the York as the York is continuing to head in your direction. Actually, I might turn in as well to get uh, access to... Um, to that York. But, of course, take a look at this Algerie turning right when I said that. Game is tied up, so... You still have a chance of... Of winning this. Algerie. Ah, uh, you're gonna miss him because he turned back south again. But look, you've got torps available in 20 seconds again. That's what I was talking about. Like, the torp reload on this ship is pretty good. Oh, there's a Hagi in the middle of the map? He's just asking to be deleted. That you want to open up here, but okay. You're on a pirate account, so I guess there's that. But you just told uh, the Algeri and more importantly the York where you were. The York might think oh, I should probably put my Hydra on because I'm in uh, torpedo threat. Sleon 13, thank you very much for the uh, epic bomber. I'll have to see how that that unit plays out. That looks kind of interesting. I haven't unlocked it yet. I'm still kind of a noob to Stream Raiders. Total miss. Alright, deadliest. What do you gotta do now? Somehow the Ahagi survived. So you're gonna test out the AP pen against the Ahagi. While the York has a shot on you and the Dunkirk is literally right in front of you, broadside. Like, I might stop and smoke and just shoot at the uh, the Dunkirk and the Ahagi here, but you seem content to just gunboat it, so. Alright, let's see what happens. AG time. So you have parity target and incoming fire alert? I feel like that's a lot of, of points to invest into skills here. Hello, York? 
he's looking right at you like, here's my food. Do you got smoke available? Why aren't you using it? Way late on your decision to smoke, but that's okay. Fortunately for you, the orc is just going to sit there broadside to you. It's damage you didn't need to take, but I mean, it's the end of the battle. Your team is clearly winning, so it might be time to give somebody a prize. Turn right and look at the Dunkirk at this point. I don't know that the Algerie and Yahagi are worth your time and investment. I think you might be better off trying to kill that Dunkirk. But if you're going to torp, nope, he's turning out. I was going to say, you were just about within the intersection for torp range there, but. Ganai Zenel takes out the Belfast. No surprise there. Must be nap time in here. What do you mean, M13? I'm wide awake. I've been I've been sleeping a lot more lately though thanks to the fact that I don't have to get up for work now for a while. It, it's been really nice cuz I've missed a lot of sleep uh, especially the past month or so. Now deadliest this is going to be a deadliest replay it has to come with a death pick. Those are the rules set forth by Deadliest himself, so... Uh, that'll get yeah. the Yahagi. Come on, let's go. You can do it. You got this. Dunkirk is reversing. Ah, here it comes, here it comes. Engine boost on. He's going full YOLO right here, ladies and gentlemen. King of the Sea and Pirates. Yes, it was a very busy month, M13. Extremely busy. Uh, Torp? No, no, no. I would Torp on him. Because he's probably going to start moving forward as soon as he detects you. Because the first thing on his mind is, crap, I'm getting torqued. Now, you could also stop and smoke here, but of course, I know you want to give your prize out, so... Yeah, see, he's moving forward. Also, I would have held the torps anyways to see how he reacts to you coming out, but... Hey, it's all good. Oh no. Oh no. Are you going to... What are you doing? Well, you're getting a death pick, but for some odd reason you're dropping a smoke while you're doing it. I don't know if that was necessary. Well, let's see if we can't get that uh, that explosion a little bit more here, huh? There it is. There we go. How's that for a death pick, ladies and gentlemen? See, now I can't do it because your ship just disappeared. The one that you uh, were trying to kill. Because you were the only one spotting him. Whoops. 
Well, I mean, this is game, so you're trying to get this guy a, uh, a prize. So you did. There you go. Good job. By the way, did you know you can see things from underwater? Okay, okay. Terminate that one. That was the Ted 61 game. Next up, Neptune. Not a bad game. I think it does a nice job of showcasing what the Ted 61 can do. Uh, it does a better job of showcasing it than I did recently, so there's that. So here you go, C-Red. Thank you for staying up late to watch your replay. 